So basically the problem I've been having is that I've been getting some engine ticking with the truck. It uh, might just be a stuck lifter. It might be... I'm hoping it's just a stuck lifter. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open her up and I'm going to put about, I don't know, maybe a pint of automatic transmission fluid in there to try and flush it out. I've read a lot of things about this. I've got a mechanic friend that I usually take this truck to whenever there's something that I personally can't do. And it's something that he's recommended he endorses. He's been doing it for 30 some odd years. So I think I'll be all right. My plan with it isn't, I'm not going to do a big flush where I'm going to put in over a quart of ATF to try and do a real flush where you just idle it and let it sit for about 5-10 minutes and then drain everything. My plan is to put in a little bit less and drive it for, hmm, I'm going to go with a little bit less than 100 miles. Now, what I plan on doing with that is to get to where I go to school from where I'm home. It's about a 35 to 40 mile drive depending which way I take. And so my plan is I'm going to change it out and I'm going to drive there, take the back roads, not go highway speeds, but just take the back roads down there. I'll be on campus all week. I won't be back here. And then when I get back home, I'll change out the oil, see what happens. And if anything happens to change throughout the process, like if the tick goes away while I'm driving or anything like that, I'll stop and I'll make an update video and let you guys know. So it's going to be kind of part one. I think I'm going to mesh all these videos together. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, I'm inside now. I got the high idle set and I just started the truck. You can kind of hear that. There's, I've got an exhaust issue that I also need to fix, so a lot of that's going to be the exhaust noise. But there's a little bit of an engine tick, and I don't know if you guys can hear it or not from inside the cab. I'm going to take the high idle off and hear how it sounds. All right, now you can hear much more of that tick. So, I'm going to let that go for a little bit. I think I'm going to take it on a short little drive and see where that gets me. Alright, so I put about a pint of ATF in my oil and I've been driving around for about 300 miles now. I just got done changing the oil. I haven't started anything up. The truck is cold. It's been sitting outside and below freezing for quite a while. I haven't actually started it up yet, so let's see if it fixed anything. Alright. There's the high idle. Oh man, that focus is really off. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. All right, zero ticking whatsoever. I'm gonna come around outside, take a little listen in there. High idle's still kind of set right now, just because I haven't started up in a minute. Yep. I can hear the exhaust noise but I can't hear the engine tick anymore. Now, a um, few things about this that I noticed right away whenever I did this. I put in a, that pint of uh, ATF into my oil, and as soon as, when I had done that, um, the engine was ticking really bad already. So I, uh, also by the way, when I did that, my oil was topped off. So I had all five quarts that I was supposed to in there after a uh, pint of ATF. Now, what I noticed is that in about the first, I want to say, seven or eight miles, the tick got really bad, and then it stopped. Now, basically what I did was I put in the ATF, and then I drove down to AutoZone, got my uh, oil for, filter for the replacement, drove back, and it's already stopped. Now, after that, basically on the way back it pretty much fixed itself it, the, the ticking all but stopped and I was thinking alright 
and see how this goes and I wanted to make sure everything circulated really well and I didn't have a ton of ATF in there so I didn't think it was going to damage anything because I've heard plenty of people putting a whole cord in and driving it for the entire first oil change every time they buy a new car. So what I ended up doing was I drove it down to school and back for about two, almost three weeks. It's not a super long drive, but I ended up between just driving around and going back to school. Got about 300 miles. Um, really, I hadn't had hardly any taking in that time at all. I got a little bit near the end, but that was because I ran low on oil again. So now that I got everything changed in there, there's hardly anything. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and at least in my case, running some ATF through your engine oil actually got rid of a lifter tick for me. So your mileage may vary, but for me, this works. Um, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. I'll see y'all in the next one.